got some of these Durham early cabbages. Really good, nice, strong looking plants now. A really good size. So I think today we'll go outside and we'll get a few of these in ground, but we'll also build a hoop tunnel to protect them from the white cabbage butterfly because that's really important. So let's go and take a look at the ground first and see what we need to do with it. Well, this is area that we're going to be using. We just need to gear a quick dig over and a rake first. And if you look at side near it, they're those alderman peas that were planted out not long ago. And they're coming up really well. And we added this piece of string recently so they'd have something to grab hold of as they grew upwards. And if you look at this one, it's already found something to grab hold of there. So now we're going to have to put another piece of string about here, but we'll do that later. But yeah, they're coming along nicely, those are. So let's get this area prepped. Get a bit of a rake now. If you haven't got any of these, uh, don't worry because you can still use thick pieces of cane, it'll work just as good. So we need to get these in ground around about the same height. And the more of this that's sticking out of the ground, the taller your tunnel will be. Try and keep them as straight as you can as well. We're also going to be using this it's just blue water piping that you can buy but it's really strong and very flexible and I'll leave a link to this in the description in case you want to buy any and the debris netting as well that we'll be using so these are hollow obviously so we're just going to slot them over the top of those stable already. Make sure you cut all these to the same length as well. There we go, pretty quick and easy to do, and already cropped quite rigid, but we're going to put a cane across top to get a bit more support and to stop the net from drooping inwards. Ideally, you want to be attaching this cane with some tie wraps, it's the more secure, but if you haven't got any, just tie it on. Now we just need to cover it with some netting. This netting has also got a line right down the centre, which is really good because you know if you keep that level with this cane all the way, you've got the same drop each side. Now we just need to fix the sides down as well. So for the length part of it, what I'm going to do is wrap the netting around a piece of cane and then secure it to the ground with one of these. Uh, and that's because at the moment I can't find my tent pegs. I have got some somewhere. So we're just going to pin it right down with this. So we're basically just rolling it around the cane. And then clamping it down with one of those. And it's pulling your net tight at the same time. So there you go, a perfectly good brassica tunnel. 
and it was cheap and quite easy to make. So we've got all that finished, uh, it didn't take long at all to do, it's just a case of making sure you cut your pipes to the same length. So you basically make it as tall, short, as wide or as narrow as you need. I only did it that tall because obviously if I put early half tall brussels in there for example they're going to need that extra height. So now all I need to do is plant these cabbages in that oak tunnel and I'll know that all through the season they're not going to be damaged by that white cabbage butterfly. So thank you very much for watching that, always appreciated. If you want to see what else we do in the garden through the season then just hit that subscribe button and press the notifications bell and we'll see you next time. Have a nice bank holiday, you take care.